Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com, and in a few short minutes, I'll show you how to become an editing pro inside Audacity. So here we are in the free audio editor Audacity, and I've got some audio here I recorded earlier. Play you a little bit of how you can edit audio. All right, so in this short video, I want to get you familiar with these six icons up here towards the top left next to the playback controls. So you might already be confident with playing back, recording, doing all of that, a uh, little bit of basic zooming and editing, but what does everything do? So this one here is the selection tool. I can use it to select some audio. And as I've demonstrated in previous videos, I can hit delete and delete audio if I want. Selection tool is good for isolating certain parts of your audio that you want to work on. Next to that is the wonderful envelope tool. When I do that, you'll notice that the uh, layout of the waveform somewhat changes. This means I can now change this around and manipulate. Look at this. I can make the audio quieter by clicking and dragging, or I can make it louder, much, much louder uh, by doing that. So say I want to paint on a few envelope points. Maybe I want an envelope point. I can move this first envelope point. An envelope point is where you start something, and then the next one is where you stop something. So I might say at this point, I want to fade out. So now I place another envelope here. Uh, this is my end point, and then I'm going to literally, you see what I'm doing? I'm fading out that audio there until, oh, look at that, it's it's all gone. So let's let's hear how that little fade sounds now. To show you. you. See, and it fades me out there. Ordered into Audacity to show you. Gone, completely. Undo it, and you'll hear that the audio is all back. Audacity to show you an example. Okay, so that's uh, a perfect way of playing with the envelope tool to put on little envelopes. You can put them wherever you want and start fading the audio up and down as you wish. Now, this uh, lovely draw tool is a very interesting feature in Audacity, and I'm going to show you how it works in just a moment. But in order to do that, I'll need to use this tool down here. This is called the zoom tool. Great for zooming in to audio and then right clicking to zoom back out. So that's how you use that. Right click on your mouse to zoom in, left click. No, sorry, the other way around. <laughs> Left click to zoom in, right click to zoom out. So I'm zooming in now. Now I'm speaking here and as you can see, if I zoom right in, eventually you should see some little points appearing. See those little points appearing on the waveform? Now with the draw tool, I'm gonna to suddenly drag one of those points up and play you that back and let you hear how that sounds. So let's zoom all the way back out again and uh, then we'll get the chance to listen. And you'll notice that little clip is there in the audio. Sometimes uh, when voices are speaking, for instance, uh, they tend to make little clicks with their mouths and those clicks sound like this. This is a little bit of dialogue. This is a little bit. Did you hear the little click there? Yep, it wasn't too good at all. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to zoom in using my zoom tool to get right in on that point where the click is. And if that was a genuine click in the speech there, what I could do is I could use the draw tool to simply drag this all the way back down, make it sound much more natural. Now zooming out. And if I play that all back to you, you should suddenly realize that the click is eliminated and my speech sounds totally natural. So let's have a listen now to this audio and see how it sounds. This is a little bit of dialogue. Absolutely no problem there with the recording. So you can see how well that draw tool works. So, so far we've gone over selection tool to select parts of your audio, the envelope tool to draw on little points and make some fades and fades in and fade out there like that, as you can see. The draw tool to actually change how the waveform looks. The zoom tool, the move tool is good because that can be used, these two arrows, to move your audio around on the track. Uh, as I've demonstrated in previous videos, you can select parts of your track, you can create a split there, and then I can move two separate parts of the audio track apart or together as, as I wish, really, using this. And this one here, the multi-tool mode, that kind of brings everything together. Now I can do everything. I can select, I can draw on envelopes, I can do all kinds of stuff just in this one mode, but I kind of need to tell it exactly what I want to do. So at the moment I'm drawing envelopes, but it might be that I want to go back to selection, so I can go back to selection, and there I am in selection. Multi-tool kind of brings all of those modes together. Those are uh, modes, or this is a mode that you'd be in for the advanced user. So editing in Audacity, as you can see, is really straightforward. Make sure you subscribe and get more videos on Audacity right here on my channel.